Hello YouTube, it's the Triumph Guy here and I thought I'd take this opportunity uh, whilst my engine bay is quite empty waiting for my uh, new turbocharger to arrive where I can show you exactly uh, what sort of things you'll need to put in place before uh, turbocharging your vehicle. Um, so what I'm going to be covering over is oil feeds, intercooler, source manifold, downpipe, um, what kind of turbo you need for your car and then potentially a map or if you're an old school uh, vehicle, then it could be uh, changing the injector pumps. So I'm gonna take you to the vehicle now and uh, we'll go over the considerations. So firstly, let's start with the exhaust manifold. Obviously mine's off at the moment. Uh, it's just been painted and I will put a link on how to do that in a bit. So with my manifold, it does go a little bit lower and um, which creates a bit more space because obviously you're gonna have to find a place to put the um, turbo. Obviously the flange needs to fit, okay, so this is a T2.5 uh, flange. Um, on most cars you will need to get this custom built unless there is a turbo model of a version of it available on the market. However this wasn't, so this had to be custom built 20 years ago. So uh, excuse the mess, obviously normally uh, this has got a massive air filter here. All this is covered in pipes, the inlet and the um, exhaust manifold there and also it's got the turbo down here but you can't see it because there's so many pipes you can get a little glimpse of it but uh, not too much so let's talk about the first thing you need some sort of brace to take the weight of the turbo okay this can get machined onto a original bolt like so or you could get someone to drill straight into the block um, somehow also your downpipe from the turbo this has got a uh, three bolts which connects onto the turbo. Obviously yours will have to be um, adjusted. As you can see, this was adjusted about 20 years ago. Um, and if it's not, um, then obviously you're not gonna be able to get a turbo on. Intercooler hoses. Okay, so you're gonna have to route your intercooler um, somewhere. So if I just go here, just about see it from the radiator. Bring it out. Now, um, with this one, um, I've seen people mount it underneath here. Um, and that essentially means that it keeps the radiator a cooler and um, yeah essentially um, you're just going to need to find space for this luckily there's plenty of space under here I might even go a little bit bigger at some point um, come out a little bit and uh, yeah as you can see you need to root it now some obviously this goes up and round so that means both pipes are here however some might go out and round the other side okay so you have to consider that if you're on a reverse flow engine like myself, then um, you'll need to get the two which come out the same side. If you don't know what a reverse flow engine is, it's where the in, in inlet and exhaust are on the same side, okay? Other um, things you're gonna have to consider, oil um, pipe going down to uh, the sump, okay? So on the bottom of the turbos, it's normally gravity fed straight into it and an oil feed on top so it will sit like that okay that feed has to come from the oil pump or somewhere uh, pretty high up on onto the engine um so that it gets the adequate lubrication if you don't get good lubrication you'll blow the turbo straight away so obviously this hasn't got an ecu however what it does have is a pretty cool injection pump as you can see it's quite big these are quite superior um there's companies out there where you can buy um ones already tuned up or you can try and tune it yourself um yeah, and you just need to make sure that this is putting in more fuel, otherwise you're gonna be firing lean, which means it's, the engine's gonna get hotter and you're gonna do some damage to the inside of the engine. Not only that, but there's no point in putting a um, turbocharger on a car, which you're not getting maximum performance out of. So if you haven't got, uh, if, it, if it is a um, computerized, so an ECU, what you will need to do is get that remapped, okay? Um, but yeah, there's plenty of them places out there. There's less people who can tune these. These, when they do get tuned, I believe what they do is they take the injectors off themselves. They put them over a flow uh, thing and then they can adjust them. I think there was a thing on Wheeler Dealers about it um, and it was pretty pretty cool bit of kit to be honest. Um, and you can also get um, different injector pumps which work better with turbos. The other consideration, uh, which I think I mentioned earlier, is the um, how much room you've got. There's loads of people who say, oh, you can't fit one of these in. Um, these vehicles you can, you just need to bring the turbo down nice and low rather than keep it on the original manifold. Uh, so you'll have to get a custom built. So yeah, just make sure you've got plenty of room before you start doing this because if you haven't got any room, you can't, you just won't be able to fit it in. 
other considerations could be um, you may want to go the supercharger route. Um, you may think, well, you may want more than one turbo, so a bi turbo or twin turbo. You may um, want like more torque, more brake horsepower. Um, so you need to find a turbo or a supercharger, uh, which is good for you. So I'd definitely seek professional um, guidance on that beforehand. Also, you can uh, you can adjust your turbo uh, using um, since you're just basic spanner kit. Can, um, you can adjust the boost height, but again, be careful um, if your turbo isn't designed to take that much boost, then it will blow. And also the internals on the engine, you need to be aware of that. Some vehicles, so I think the OM606 on um, old school Mercs, it can take a lot of power. Uh, however, I'm on OM617, um, so I'll boost it, but not too much. It's been, you know, in there for 20 years, so it, it should be sound. Obviously it's only just blown. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. I'll do a time lapse of me actually fitting the turbo soon and I'll put a link into the ceramic coat uh, at the end and that also shows the benefits of ceramic coating as awesome manifold.